The year was 1946. Radio was king, and the adventures of Superman ruled the airwaves. But with fascism vanquished, the Man of Steel set his sights on a different foe. This is the story of how Superman busted the Ku Klux Klan. Because unless we stop this fiery cross clan now, they'll get you no matter where you go. The story starts with Stetson Kennedy, a journalist who infiltrated the Klan for the Anti-Defamation League. He wanted to melt the cultural glue that held the Klan together. Thanks, Rick. No problem. That's Rick Bowers. B-O-W. He wrote this book. Superman versus the Ku Klux Klan. But what does Stetson Kennedy have to do with Superman? Remember, the last son of Krypton needed a new enemy. The producers of the radio show, on a very bold gambit, decided Superman would take on real-life hate groups. The creators of The Adventures of Superman used Kennedy's research to produce a 16-part series called The Clan of the, the Fiery, Fiery Cross. Cross. We're a great secret society pledged to purify America. The Superman producers went to the Anti-Defamation League and said, authenticate our script, provide us more information. It was a way to get the message out that no one else could get out just by telling horror stories. I'm the Grand Scorpion of the Clan of the Fiery Cross. The Grand Rat, you mean? It exposed the Clan as hate mongers, but it also exposed the Clan as a money-driven organization. I'm running up business rigs, and so are you. We deal in one of the oldest and most profitable commodities on Earth, hate. It was a breakthrough in American broadcasting. Not only had they done this great public service, but they elevated themselves to the number one radio show for kids on air. Well, they're cowardly gangsters who operate at night, hidden behind sheets and hoods. Their minds are diseased with hate. No one is safe from them. I guess you could say that the white robes stood no chance against the Man of Steel. 